So I'm gonna shift it over just a hair over that way. My lights line up nice and flush and even and get this back panel welded on. Previously on Inside the Body Shop. I have a Toyota Camry here. This one got hit down low here in the trunk floor. I went ahead and matched the measuring system back to the car. Since I had moved this ladder, I had to recenter the car to the measuring system. And I'm gonna come back here to the back and I can measure these points and see if I need to shift this in it at all. The computer is telling me that this panel is sitting just a few millimeters too far to the left. So I'm gonna shift it over, just a hair over that way. This one is measuring out perfectly now, so everything's sitting where it's supposed to. I'm gonna go ahead and I gotta fit up the tail lights and fit up the lights in the trunk lid and make sure everything fits correctly when I shut the trunk lid and latch it and check the seal and everything. And once I check all that, then I will go ahead and start welding this rear body panel on and get this one finished up. Now, I have this thing all fitting together and the trunk shuts and latches and seals very nice. My lights, my lights line up nice and flush and even and the gaps look good. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull this one back apart and get this back panel welded on.
So you can see here, this old floor has sound deadening pads that go on the bottom center of it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna clean off this new trunk floor and I'm gonna put some paint down in this bottom section so I could go ahead and lay out the sound deadening pads and get that part finished up. Then whenever our paint department paints this trunk floor, they get to spray right over all of it. Now these are just some generic sound deadening pads I have here. I use this heat lamp to warm them up, make them more pliable, and it also makes them stick a lot better. So I just realized that as I was doing those sound deadening pads that this bracket did not come on the new floor. This is what bolts down your spare tire. So I'm going to drill out these four spot welds and I'm going to transfer that over and weld that down to that floor. So I just about have this one wrapped up. I'm at the point now that I'm gonna give this to our mechanic so he could put it up on a two post lift because there's the front, the front seam on the trunk floor has to be sealed up and the suspension, all the suspension has to be dropped loose in order to get up to that seam to seal it. So I'm gonna give this to our mechanic, let him drop that loose, then I will get up in there tomorrow and get that seam sealed up and finish up the underside. Then after that, I will give this to Eric to do the little bit of glaze work on both quarter panels and it will be ready for paint. That's a wrap.